Alright, so today's video has an interesting topic. We're covering two Boldcaster builds, Musket Boldcaster and Rapier Boldcaster. Now, currently Boldcaster is quite broken and as you'll see in this gameplay, I'm hitting quite high numbers in a war against a decent company. So this is a fear sign that the Boldcaster currently is quite broken. But again, I think Boldcaster is progressively going to get worse. The reason for this is Elemental Aversion. Not everyone has a gear set for it. As I said a few weeks ago, the current economy, people do not have enough gold or do not have enough time to quickly get a new set. Over the next couple weeks, we'll start to see people Im implementing Ali Aversion into their gear sets. In terms of damage, currently Boldcaster with how many people still do not have our new sets or alley version sets it is quite op as you can see in this gameplay i'm hitting pretty high numbers currently in this i'm running i think i'm running 25 strength like 420 decks 150 and and then like 50 or 60 con again uh, currently it is slightly better than both syncretic and oil jar however as people slowly switch over to the elemental version sets you are going to see the uh, Boltcaster do a little bit less and less damage to where it gets more in line with the Syncretic Bow. Uh, as the fourth on fourth perk I added on Boltcaster, I added Keenly Jagged. Extra damage is probably the best damage perk, the extra damage perk you can add to a bow in my opinion. Uh, again, most of the elements of the build are the same as the previous guides, both the Plague and the Syncretic sets which are both still viable if you want to check those videos out. Those builds are actually a lot more safe in this build because you don't know if there's going to be nerfs to this build just based off the first week or two. All right, so now for the builds, we'll start off with Boldcaster and Rapier. So again, 25 strength, 435 dex, 150 and 50 con. We're maxing our DPS and we want to make sure we get as much dex as possible. Obviously, we want the impasses up to 150. Two and balls, you can see here, you know, typical fruit salad, honing stone, counters and power, by the way. Rapier and Musk sketch or rapier and bow trees sorry this is what i personally run you can drop poison for rapids if you want and then we have the armor i recommend full opals and armor especially in the current elemental emitter and then elemental aversion lightning harnessing and health on your armor as perks you can swap health out for weapon perks on the gloves we have impairing explosive arrow you can also do like penetrating rapid shot there's really the only two bow perks you might want they're also not mandatory they're completely optional a tangle vine amulet again artifact armor is a tune of the pants by the way slap uh, harnessing on those striking energy is not that relevant you don't need it to perform red hot Slagger's ring add lightning damage onto that endless thirst got a small buff it's pretty strong now uh, add nimble onto that is my recommendation bolt caster we've added kinley jagged is the last again just highest dps bow we can possibly make it officer's ceremony as our sidearm or offhand and again slapping omnidirectional evade on that uh, augmented electrified as well uh, and i forgot to mention on the jewelry we're actually running uh two lightning gems and one thrust this effectively makes us 10 percent elemental resistance with our armor and then with uh thrust protection and thrust ward we have 20 percent thrust with the lightning gems that's 12 percent plus 10 so 22 percent lightning resistance 20 percent thrust resistance and 10 percent overall alia resistance is a pretty comfortable uh setup for gems in my opinion especially in the current meta you don't know suns are going to be running a syncretic bow setup or if they're going to be running a bolt gust setup so we just cover a bit of both bases. We knock off 20% of both. And that is the best we could do. Brutal Kahar and the Cannon Blast, obviously. This is the best uh, DPS build currently until people start getting elemental version sets. And then it'll start to even out with Syncretic. On to the next, we have Boltcaster and Muskets, which is very similar, except again, uh, swapping out the tree here. Stats are the same actually uh you we don't want to we still want to pump out dicks because bow is going to be again our main dps muskets are mainly going to be for finishing and our ability rotations uh, and again we're slapping on syncretic i forgot to add the third perk here but our third perk on syncretic is either crippling powder burn or you can go with uh enchanted if you would like uh, that is all for the builds see you in the next one peace